guys. So you see behind me, we're at the Miller Geology Museum, Miller Hall, Queen's University in Kingston. We're gonna look at some geology. We're gonna go see what the Queen's University has in its geology department. They got a museum here, it's free. So we're gonna go check out the museum. We're gonna go look at some rocks. So let's go take a look. Okay, about 1.2 billion years ago, North America was smaller. Geologists call this older continent Laurentia. It was located near the equator. About 1 million years ago, many continents came together with Laurentia, forming the Grenville Mountains. That's the mountain range here. Scotland used to be a part of North America. When continents came together, the rocks dropped in between, were squeezed and moved on top of each other along thrust faults, forming mountains. Today, you can walk canoe through lakes of Ontario, go back, find remnants of the Grenville Collision, as you drive from Sudbury to the Adirondacks, you cross three main units of the Grenville Mountains. The three units were initially separated by oceans and were brought together during the Grenville Collision, now separated by shear zones. The three units that formed the Grenville Mountain Belt represent deformed old Laurentia rocks. The crustal fragments that used to be offshore between Laurentia and Amazonia continents are brown. The Himalayan scale Grenville formed one billion years ago and were eroded down to a flat plain 800 million years ago, forming the low relief surface we call the Canadian Shield. Frontenac Provincial Park. 28 abandoned mica mines are known within the northern part of the park. The vast majority of earthquakes in the world occur along present-day tectonic plate boundaries. Although far away from an active plate boundaries, eastern Ontario and Quebec experience earthquakes that occasionally can be felt by the population. That's the ring of fire, guys. That's why we have so many volcanoes in BC. Look, in the volcanic island arc, the Aleutian Islands, that's just a volcanic island arc. Hawaii as well, Mauna Kea. The Ottawa and St. Lawrence rivers follow Gravens, which are valleys. Graben, Horst. Full block. You can see it's in blocks. Bancroft is an Ontario town known as the mineral capital of Canada. The great variety of minerals found there formed as much as 30 kilometers deep within the Earth's crust below the Grenville Mountain. The Canadian Shield is the world's largest mass of rock of Archean and Proterozoic age, 4 billion to 570 million years ago. The Himalayan scale Grenville Mountains formed about a billion years ago, but were eroded to a flat plain by 800 million years ago, forming the Canadian Shield. A thousand islands near Kingston exist where the Grenville rocks of the Canadian Shield cross the St. Lawrence Seaway to join the Adirondacks in New York State. These harder rocks aren't easily eroded. That's what forms the thousand islands. 20,000 years ago, Ontario was covered by a Toucan ice sheet. Mount Tremblant, Calabogie Peaks, and many other ski resorts are located on the remnants of former large Himalayan scale Grenville Mountains. The Grenville Rocks offer prime cottage country rolling hills, lakes. Think about Rita Lakes, Muskoka, Kawartha, and the Laurentians. In this section, you'll see a miniature of the Himalaya placed on top of the Grenville Mountain section. The reason for this is that currently exposed Grenville Rocks are thought to be the same as deeper levels of the present day Himalayan Mountains. Laurentia, deformed Laurentia, Algonquin, volcanic islands, and cams below the surface. So we've eroded down to the same depth. Indian basement rock, Himalayan metamorphic core, Algonquin Park, Godabur River. Let's go look at some of these rocks they got here. Native elements, sulfur, arsenic. Oh, graphite. We're going to go see graphite. 1858. Oh, that's a nugget. That's a big nugget. Copper. Thick ice sheets up to two kilometers thick. Covered the area in the past. During the last 1.6 million years, at least four glacial advances have occurred. The last ice sheet covered this area up until about 12,000 years ago. Glaciers or Kingston. Maximum extent of the Laurentide ice sheet. We can see the different lobes at least four times. The last two million years, ice sheets covered the Kingston area and then melted back, even though only four major events have been named. Nebraskan, Kansan, Illinoisan, Wisconsin. The ice sheets moved across the land in many different lobes or fingers of ice that followed low areas or river valleys. Each of the Great Lakes sits in a depression that was formed by the last glacial lobes. So there's the lobes. Kansan, glacial extent. Nebraskan. Then, Illinoisan direction of ice movement from Labrador. For reasons that are still poorly understood, in the past these ice sheets have expanded and covered even more of the earth 
during many ice ages. The Thousand Islands region is a direct result of underlying geology and geological history. By around 950 million years ago, the collisions responsible for the formation of the Grenville Mountains were over, and the huge mountain ridge began to erode. 500 million years of erosion reduced the mountains to a low rolling plain by the end of the Cambrian period. A resistant ridge of metamorphic rock called the Frontenac Axis now joins the Canadian Shield to the Adirondack Mountains in New York State. Where this ridge crosses the St. Lawrence River to the east of Kingston, the relatively hard quartzite and genus rock remnant as resistant knobs and ridges above the water. These are now the world famous Thousand Islands. On either side of the Frontenac Axis, younger sedimentary rocks from the Orcavidian and younger geological periods cover the Canadian Shield rocks. Canadian Shield to make up the world famous Thousand Islands. Like most Canadian Shield, the Grenville province has a very complex geological history. It is made up of alifons, rocks originally formed in different settings that have been brought together by tectonic processes. Based on rock types and ages, three main subdivisions have been described. Rocks of the original continent of Laurentia and its margin, the composite arc belt, and the Frontenac Adirondack belt. Cross section of the Frontenac axis. The younger sedimentary rocks of the Kingston area sit on top of the Grenville province rocks. Cross section from near Montreal through Kingston, Laurentia, shallow sea. By 1.3 billion years ago, the Laurentia Mountains were completely eroded away. Over the next several hundred million years, a new mountain range called the Grenville Mountains formed in the Kingston area when North America collided with other continents. Studies show that the mountain belt that existed here at this time was like the modern day Himalayas in size. So that's the Granville Mountains, the collision, and then that's Laurentia, and then this is Laurentia with the shallow sea. Present day Sudbury. We're eroding and depositing mud, sand, and gravel in this region. The Granville Mountains eroded away 500 million years ago, and the metamorphic igneous rocks from this ancient belt now make up the Granville Province of the Canadian Shield. It's all flat now. Granville Province rocks of the Canadian Shield. Superior craton rocks of the Canadian Shield, Adirondack Highlands. The ancient sedimentary rocks no longer exist in their original form because of later geological events. Around 1.1 billion years ago, this part of primitive North America collided with part of South America. During the formation of the supercontinent Rodinia, the collision produced the Grenville Mountain Belt along what was then the coast of North America. During this mountain building, the previously existent rocks were metamorphosed, changed due to the tremendous heat and pressure. Pure quartz sandstone was converted to quartzite and muddy sandstone, and conglomerate became genus. Several lakes of varying size and depth have existed here since 12,500 years ago. Earliest Lake Ontario, Sea of Champlain 12,000 years ago, 11,600 years ago, Lake Belleville, early Lake Ontario, isostatic rebound. It's when the earth is depressed by the glacier and then the ground comes back up after being underweight for so long. So apparently at one point, Grenville mountain range was like this, like the Himalayas. In 1955, a circular feature north of Kingston near the village of Holford was discovered, described as a probable meteor crater. Studies feature reveal a crater of 2.3 kilometers in diameter in the Canadian Shield Rock. Orcavidian period limestones now cover it, making it at least older than 470 million years. 20 to 30 degrees south of the equator, North America was tilted slightly sideways and the shallow seas of the Laputus Ocean covered this region. Collisions during the Tychonic Orogeny resulted in the first series of mountain ranges on the coast that would culminate in the Appalachian Mountains. The Frontenac axis was the most likely above the water at various times, dividing the waters of the Ottawa Embayment on the east and the Lake Ontario Basin on the west. So the caves, there's a series of caves outside Kingston, and there's a bunch of caves, the Bonacher Caves in Renfrew area. That's limestone, that's all from the Orcavidian these are all just various elements and mineral samples, copper ores, ores of gold, ores of lead and zinc. So you can see here, Sierra Nevada, Grenville, Pyrenees, Himalayas. So we, we have two mountain ranges. We have the Appalachians and the Grenville Mountains are buried under Kingston now, under limestone. And then the North American Cordillera over in the west coast there. And it's just the earth crashing together. It's the same thing that happens in BC. And you can see the Grenville Mountains were here, and then the Himalayas are here. It's old, but it's only been for 5% of the Earth's history. That's pretty crazy. If we compress the Earth's entire history into the past hour, the Grenville Mountains started forming 15 minutes ago.
the Himalayas started forming 42 seconds ago. Gives you an idea of the geologic time scale. Oh, this is the snow lab stuff. That's cool, that's for snow lab. Alrighty guys, so we just finished up the uh, Miller Geology Museum. That was really cool. Uh, the front neck axis and the Thousand Islands and the fact that Kingston used to have a mountain range the size of the Himalayas. Uh, and it was that's something really fascinating that um, if you were to compress the Earth's history into an hour, the Grenville Mountains would have formed uh, 15 minutes ago when they formed, you know, you saw, and the Himalayas would have just started forming like 42 seconds ago. So it gives you perspective of like geologic time and how small, uh, how small we are. Cause you know, we live like, if we're lucky, like a hundred years, maybe, right? Um, so to be like, you know, millions of years old and only have started out, you know, fairly recently is quite, quite incredible. So anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me. We're in Kingston at the site of the former Grenville mountain range in the Him which was the size of the Himalayas. Uh, Queens University, thank you to Queens for having all the information. Make sure you come check them out, support them, right? Cause it's a university. They do a lot of important geological research in the area and uh, you know, obviously provide education and stuff to everybody. So it's just really good guys. It's a good thing they do here. So uh, yeah, if you're ever in Kingston, make sure you come by, check them out and uh, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. Sasquatch out. Oh.